It's because I'm right. But is he though? Asmongold has been having opinions about WoW for a long time and has been attacked multiple times for them. And I think he's right. And there is data to prove it. It's all just a personal attack. There are no actual arguments against what I'm saying. There are just personal attacks that try to discredit me because... And, and I, I'll tell you why. The reason... You, know, you want to know why? It's because I'm right. Around September 2023, Asman was grilled by Quick and Max about his take on raiding because he was either not able to raid anymore or at the very least not capable of actually mythic raiding. For those of you who don't know, Quick is the former president of Blizzard and a prominent high-end WoW player and Max is the GM and raid leader of Liquid, multiple winners of Race to World First titles. Yet they were both wrong. First of all, as far as being a capable mythic raider, Asmongold is no slouch. Man has been a mythic raider for years. Now I'm not sure what is qualified as skill, but if I can clear mythic bosses with these parses, then we can assume Asmongold can smash it provided he played the game consistently. Which is why we go to the second point of it all. He doesn't raid or maybe even play anymore. Maybe. I don't know. I wish I had the time to watch all of his streams, but I can only say he cleared Amir Drasil this tier at the very least. Now, the overall takes that Asman has been having about the game revolved around raiding, but not exclusively, and they stem from the perspective of a gamer more so than a WoW player. What do I mean by that? Well, there are two main types of players that enjoy World of Warcraft. There's the WoW player, someone who really only plays WoW, maybe dabbles into another game once every few years or so, or maybe play some mobile games. Primarily, however, it would be that that person just plays WoW. Then there's the gamer, the WoW player that might also play Final Fantasy, maybe other RPGs, maybe Dota or League, gets into some Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate, Valorant and so on. That person would be a gamer, a player that dabbles into video games like what a regular gamer might do. The main difference between the two types is a simple difference of context which is true over any genre, not just WoW and not just video games. The more you know, the better you can judge and assess things. And sometimes WoW players unfortunately fall into an echo chamber type bubble where they cannot really see past what WoW is or what a game could be outside of Azeroth. A person that has never played another game besides WoW will not have a fully fleshed out opinion over how well designed WoW is or could be. That just wouldn't make sense. It would be just like someone saying that a bowl of cereal is the best dish one can cook, but they never had a steak, a risotto, a cake or a burger. You cannot say WoW is good or bad without playing other games. At most, you can compare one version of WoW with another version of WoW. Unfortunately, World of Warcraft does not exist within its own pocket dimension, but exists in the direct competition with other games, making the quality of other video games be relevant, hence why it is important to view WoW from the lens of what a video game can be like. I made this whole tangent to point out that just because Asman doesn't play WoW anymore or didn't at the point of this controversy doesn't mean he doesn't know if WoW is good or bad, because we as well play other games. We have a second YouTube channel dedicated to Diablo 4, which was previously made to cover variety gaming. We play roguelites and single player RPGs like Witcher and God of War and still have very similar opinions to Asmongold. With that out of the way, as far as opinions go, I believe all of ours are valid. Now, whether we are right or wrong, that's a different topic and today we'll be talking about why I think Asman Gold is right and I can also prove it. His main concern was with the fact that raiding sucks and fewer people play it. This opinion extended to Mythic Plus and other facets of the game like PvP as well. The game has issues and because of these issues people are playing it less and this was just before 10.2 was released with the numbers pointing that he was right at the time. One of Asmongold's biggest opinions that can be unpacked in a lot of ways is that the game is designed for the 1%. For raiding, that essentially means people focused on the race world first and most likely guilds that aim to get into the Hall of Fame, meaning being one of the first 100 to kill the last boss of a raid before everyone else. 
or if we look at the numbers now, out of the total 22,000 Farak kills, only 651 are on Mythic, and this is close to the end of the season, not even Hall of Fame, meaning that less than 3% of the kills are on Mythic. Now, that doesn't mean that less than 3% of players have killed Farak, but a further look at the number of guilds that actually killed Farak points that the number is fairly close, currently sitting at 670 guilds as of recording this video out of the total 5,470 guilds that can be considered mythic guilds. I got bored trying to scroll more to see how many heroic guilds there are and normal guilds as well, but it's safe to assume that there will be way more left. Should everyone be able to kill mythic frog? Probably not, but should there be this big of a difference? I don't think so, and neither does Asmon. And the reason there is, is because the game is being designed for the 1%, which is a cute way of saying it's probably too hard or harder than it should be. The difficulty of the fights with intricate mechanics already create a huge barrier of entry for people when you need complex weak auras to even offset the fact that now we have private auras. I think that the race to world first and Blizzard's fixation on creating competitive content has ruined the game. A person wanting to clear Mythic for Rock, the boss with the best loot in the game, has to be in one of these small percentages of people, skill-wise, needs the right amount of add-ons, the proper schedule to allow for the progress towards the kill to be made, and for what? A piece of gear that is equivalent to next season's normal or heroic grade level gear? The overemphasis on the race world first and esports in general has shifted the game to an overly designed, overly complex combat system that still alienates a lot of people and essentially has made raiding less popular than literally spamming the same dungeon over 30 to 40 times per season in Mythic Plus. I think every single time that Blizzard has to retune a boss, it is a failure. You should never have to retune a boss. The boss should be released in a way that is fair and fun, and if people kill it quickly, so be it, and if people can't kill it, then get better gear. Add to this the fact that even for those mythic creators, most of them, us included, cannot kill bosses until they get nerfed, after we tested them on the PTR beforehand. This is so much, and why? Is this all needed? Who are we making the game for? The 100,000 people watching the race to world first for a week and a half? What about the other millions that play for the other five months? Potentially millions. Or would play if the game didn't feel like you need a university degree for it. The problem is that nobody wants to raid. Nobody wants to raid because raiding isn't fun. Obviously, Asmin is hyperbolic here, but the numbers of raiders being several times lower than that of the Mythic Plus, an endless predictable grind for mediocre results, points to this conclusion and there are likely issues and will likely always be issues that can be improved for all things, sure. And this isn't an argument against the game being difficult. Just had this conversation with our patrons earlier as well, the game can be hard and easy as long as it is fun. An example of the game being hard but fun was and still is the the Mage Tower. This was a massively successful system introduced in Legion that pit the player against some of the highest individual skill expression they had to put out, but the encounter and rewards were so sought after that people just spammed the living shit out of it. And this whole thing changed for raiding. I won't stay and debate every single boss, but currently, after a few nerfs of course, the raid is overall easier than Abris, and in my opinion Farak is way easier than Razageth. This is mostly on the heroic side since that's where most people play, but likely it reverberates to normal and mythic as well. And if we look at the numbers, we can see that just 10 to 5 has more people playing than entire previous patches. I am looking at logs, since it's the only access to any form of data that can point to how much the game is being played. This doesn't mean we have 500,000 players, but it does mean it's at least a few more times more popular than previous raids. And you might say that this is just Red Paladins wanting the legendary, and you may be right. And at the same time, that supports the argument even more, especially Asmongold's complaint that the gear gets less relevant with each tier. Farming OP legendary gear that lasts for longer is more enticing and brings people to the game. So what if it's all because of a legendary axe? 
Isn't that great? Isn't that what we want in a game? A cool badass weapon to chase and get? If anything, that just proves that having meaningful loot brings people back into the game. Now imagine if this loot was not just a legendary strength axe, but something for more people. Imagine if the loot could carry you through at least half of season 4. We can speculate, but we can also use the freaking data in front of our face to point out that it is what people have been wanting, or at least part of what, why they're enjoying the game currently. It is what Asman was saying he would want. Meaningful loot. If he was right about this thing, what about the other stuff? This is what I think Blizzard should do. I think they should remove 80% of the trash from raids, and they should add a summoning stone right next to every single boss arena, and next to the summoning stone there should be a respawn point that if you die to that boss you respawn at that point. Although I'm not sold on the raid trash, I think trash makes the raid feel more like a lively place than a corridor with 8 bosses just sitting in silence awkwardly waiting for people to come in, I cannot say I'm not keen about the other stuff. Having to wait for people in any form, either them getting their butts to the raid or coming back to start another pool, is incredibly boring and wastes so much time for a raid night. This is even more of an issue when bosses are particularly difficult and require multiple pulls to down, cause, you know, the raid is tuned for better and better people. How would the game turn out if more of these things would be addressed? And what about Mythic Plus? Well, if we can summarize Asmongold's opinion into a concise point of view, the game is overly designed and overly tuned to the point where new people and current people are finding it hard to engage with. Then we can draw conclusions about Mythic Plus. Over the course of Dragonflight, the Mythic Plus system has been drastically nerfed. We don't have a seasonal affix anymore, and affixes in general are less of a headache. This alone should point to an already existing flaw with the design. Affixes are only fun if they can be ignored, or if they don't just pose walls for arbitrary friction. And if I may be so bold, I point you towards encrypted, awakened, reaping and generally affixes that provided bonuses for being cleared or just sheer stupid fun. But putting that aside, M plus is easier and more people can do it. Evidence? How about the fact that there are 5 times more keys done now than any other season? Easily summarizing a full expansion's worth of keys done within one patch that is not even over. We covered this in a previous video by the way. And this is without even all of the things being changed for Mythic Plus that people could enjoy. One of which was also pointed out by Asman, one that we mentioned before and agree with. I don't think that there is a single reason for a key to deplete in Mythic Plus. Listen, Asmongold does not speak for us, or even the player base. He is just one person, and the biggest content creator for that covers WoW, because I don't think he can be called a WoW content creator anymore. So naturally, a large part of the player base watches him, may or may not agree with him as well. But Asmongold is a reflection of a section of players within the WoW community. Oddly enough, some of the stuff he says resonates with us as well, so there is something here. Nobody is 100% right, but in this sense, Asmon criticized aspects of the game designed to be a, of a negative impact on the game's popularity and enjoyment. And looking at how some of them were addressed and as a consequence got people to play the game more, kind of makes him right in an abstract way, and maybe even more of an empirical way if this path continues with War Within. All of this to point to a really cool thing, which is the devs are actually making the game better. They have been for a while, honestly, but we can see it in the numbers as well, since it's unlikely Blizz will ever publish player-based numbers unless we get back into the multi-million zone. And if you still don't believe that WoW is doing way better than before and likely better than what most people think, check our video about it right here. More facts and evidence will be provided, I promise.